So do you guys want to create a free and professional logo that fits perfectly onto your website? Now, if you do, you've reached the right video. So on my channel, I teach people how to create websites for free using WordPress without any coding. And by far the biggest problem that I see is that logos that don't fit properly. And that results in a really ugly and really bad website. So hopefully in this video, I can show you just some free tools to create a free logo and some easy techniques to make sure that your logo fits perfectly. So we're going to jump into the computer and I'm going to show you guys step by step how to create a free and amazing logo. Okay, so the first thing that I want you guys to do is to click on the link down below and that's going to take you to canva.com and on the right over here, you'll see create a design. So you can click on that and click on custom dimensions. So before you set in your dimensions of the logo, then what we need to do is we need to go to your website. So you always want to look at your website and look at where you want to put your logo. For example, our logo we need it to fit into this space over here. So as you can see this logo, it's just either too big, the color is not right. And when we're scrolling down, this logo is really, really small. We can't see the text. So the main issue with this logo is that we do need to rearrange this logo or we need to sort of edit it and change the layout of the logo. So for example, we would either just have that sort of icon itself, for example, like Apple, just the icon itself, or we just have the text by itself like that. So that needs to be rearranged and it needs to be fixed. Now, alternatively, if you can on your website, um, you can change your header sort of layout to something like this, where you've got it into the middle and the header spacing is quite large like that. Now you can do that as well, okay? So because they're Rolex, I think that is definitely like their signature sort of logo on top, the crown. It wouldn't really make sense to put the logo on the left, to be honest, or they would either just have the icon itself, all right? So what I want to show you guys is how to create a simple logo, a free and simple logo first, and also your fab icon like this icon, and also show you how to rearrange and really just give you some inspiration on how to fix it, okay? So what we wanna do is we wanna set the dimension to 5112 in width and maybe 128 in the height, okay? So that's a good default one to start off with, and you can click on create a new design. Then on the right here, this is your canvas, and what we can do is click on text, so the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna choose a text that sort of relates to your brand. So for example, if you want something modern, you can use something like this. Um, maybe if you have something, you're creating something for kids, then maybe you could use something like that. So make sure you choose a font that really suits your business and your brand, okay? Because that's really, really important. Now, I'm just gonna click on that and drag this one in and drop it, just like that. So you can click onto it and then we can just highlight it and just start typing your text. So for example, I wanna call it parallax and I'm also gonna delete the bottom bit. So click it and select it and you can just um, sort of delete that one. Oops, just click it again and delete it, okay? Then we're gonna make the size big like this and put it into position. And on the left here, we're gonna add an icon. So here you can click on the elements and there's tons of different icons which you can add. Um, I'm just gonna type in the infinite one. So infinite, just like that. And then maybe I might use this one over here. So as you can see, when you hover over it, sometimes it might be pro. Now I personally do highly recommend it um, to sign up for the free trial. I think it should be around here. Just sign up for the free trial and you can get access to all the pro icons. So it's really, really amazing. Um, and I personally use the Canva for like my thumbnails and everything as well. It's really awesome. So let's just drag this in like that. Uh, put this over and put it in like that. Okay, so we might need to resize this to a little bit smaller. Maybe we can make this a little bit smaller so the size sort of matches properly with our logo. Okay, so make sure it is also sort of aligned properly, um, like centered. And I think that is pretty decent. Okay, so obviously you can click into it like that and you can also edit the color to red or you can change the color to whatever you need. So generally what I like to do is I recommend saving this as a dark color. So you always wanna have a dark color logo uh, with a transparent background and you always wanna have a white uh, logo as well. So I'll show you why later on. So over here you can click on the drop down, click on download and download it as a PNG. And you also wanna select the transparent background, PNG only. Um, and I think that requires the pro version of it. So make sure to sign up for the free trial click on download, and then once you've downloaded that onto your computer, then we can convert this to a white one as well. So click into it, and then we're gonna change the text color to white, 
and also change the icon to white as well. Download it again and transparent, click on download. Okay, so let's just save that as white and then click on save. And then let's show you how to add it onto the website. So for those of you who are following this, my videos for the first time, I basically help people um, create websites using WordPress. Um, and I'll leave the link in the description below for the full tutorial on how to create this really, really amazing website. Okay. So for those of you who have been following my videos, um, click on customize over here and we can add it in really, really easily. So for example, we could just click on the site logo and tagline over here once it finishes loading. And then we can click on the site logo and then we can delete this one for the time being and we can upload a new one. So upload files, select files, select, we're going to be selecting the white one. Okay. Um, because we've got a transparent background and you'll see why. So that basically is visible, right? So if we have the black one, it's not going to look very nice. Um, there won't be enough contrast. We also want to resize the height to 32 and that looks pretty good. So what we can do is also for the sticky header. So as you can see, that one is the white version as well. Click on that and we want to click on the sticky header logo. Okay. So if you don't see that, you want to click on the advanced options over here on the top and then that will show up. So we can delete this one. Let's add in the black version, select files, select files and open just like that. So really, really simple. Now, once we publish that and we close that, then that logo is just going to fit perfectly, right? It's going to fit really, really well um, because it's a horizontal logo. Now, because sometimes when you follow different tutorials or maybe you have gotten someone to design your logo from ages ago, um, it might be like a square one and you might need to rearrange it. So for example, something like this, you need to rearrange it. So I'm just going to show you a quick example. Now you can go back to canva.com, the homepage. And if you do, you can scroll down to the logos over here, or you can type in logos. So let's just click into the logos and we're going to find the one that I changed before, which was the, let's see, where is it? Okay. So this one over here, so I'm going to click into that. So I just want to show you guys how to sort of rearrange it properly um, so that you guys can do it for yourself. So for example, this square one's not going to fit great. So what you want to do is first of all, click on resize on the top here. And then here you want to resize it to a custom size to maybe let's say 500 in width and maybe hundred in height and click on resize. Okay. Then we can rearrange the logo. We can have the logo on the left and just make that a little bit bigger like this. And we're going to stretch the text. So it fits something like that. And that's fine. Okay. So that's looking really great. Now, what I want to do is I want to sort of invert the colors. So for example, I want to change the background to white. Now, because I want to do that is if we put this color logo onto this website over here, it's just not going to look good, right? Because you've got that light blue background with that green, it's not good. So you want to make sure it's like a white version of it. So let's click back onto here. Let's change the background to a white background like that. Click on the text and then we're going to change the color of the text over here to something like that. And that is still not as good because we probably want to change this one to let's say a either a white background. Um, and then we can click on the tree and we want to make sure that tree is uh, set to the green like that. Okay. So I think that might be decent, um, but I'm going to delete that back. Um, so if you see that, I'm going to delete that like that. Okay. So it's just going to be the tree itself and then we can rearrange it like that. I'm going to make it just a tad bigger. And what you probably want to do is you want to make sure that when you sort of, uh, save your logo, you want to make sure that it doesn't have too much white space on the top and on the edges. Okay. So that's really, really important. Um, like let's say for example, your text is like this. Okay. And you've got a ton of different like white space over here and it just, when you put it onto your website, it's not going to look really good at all. So you want to make sure that it is sort of cropped as even as possible. Um, so sometimes it does take a little while to play around with it, but I do want to show you guys. So what we're going to do 
is we're going to click on resize and we want to reduce the height a little bit okay so before it's about 100 now what I want to do is maybe do it like a 70 just resize it let's just put that over here again make that tree a little bit bigger and then pull that in make that a little bit bigger Okay, so that looks a little bit better. Um, not perfect uh, because this is a tutorial and I don't want you guys hanging around for too long, um, but we've reduced the spacing on the top. Okay, so we can click on download again and download the background like that. And I also will create the white version um, right now as well. So let's just click on that, change the text to white really quickly, change the tree as well to white and also the tree branch. To white as well download that and download png so this one is going to be the white version click on ok and then let's go back onto our website and i'll show you guys how to add it in and then i'll show you how to create the fab icon so let's click on the site logo and tagline site logo close that and upload that image select files let's choose the white version first and then insert image and then that just looks really great Right, so we can obviously sort of resize it down to a little bit smaller, 30, that's fine as well. And then we can go to sticky header, sticky header logo, delete that one. And let's upload the other one over here. Insert image, click on publish, and we can close that. And then when we scroll down, I think that looks really nice. Okay, so you can sort of um, see the difference, right? So we can see the text, we can see the icon as well. Um, for this one over here, it just doesn't look very good. So here to create a fab icon, really simple. So let's go back over here. Uh, what we want to do is we want to create a new file. So file, create a new design, custom dimensions. And we're going to set this to 64 by 64, which is like a square. Create a new design. And then we can come back over here and we can just copy that tree. Okay, so it's white, so we can't see it. But uh, once we paste it in and change the color, then hopefully we can see it. So you can change it to a black one or you can go back over here and we can try and get that green. So let's see. So I just pressed on Control Z to undo. So we've got that color code again. Let's click into the here and grab that color code. Come back over here and then we're going to click into, oops, click into that. Just paste in the color, select it like that. Done. Now let's grab this, move that into the center. So I think that looks pretty good. So you can either have it like that, or you could do, maybe you could do like a, let's see, change the background to that. Change the tree color, let's say to white, like that. And then you've got a sort of a solid um, fab icon like Rolex has. So we can download that and we can just download that as a PNG uh, without the transparent background. And then we can do fab icon and then click on save. Let's go back over here and we're gonna go to logo dashboard and then go to themify settings. Over here, fab icon, upload, choose the fab icon like that. And then we can click on save and then we can refresh it so now we can see and we have our fab icon just like the Rolex one. Now obviously you can have just the one with the logo like that uh, without the sort of background color and just have the color for the icon itself, uh, which looks quite nice as well. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoy this tutorial. So just as a reminder, you know, for websites, there's always going to be a restriction on the header section, the spacing. So that's why we always have to rearrange the logo. So if you're creating a logo for like, just like a piece of paper, maybe like a menu or brochure, you're putting it onto like a video, it doesn't really matter if you have, you know, a big or a small logo, a square one, horizontal one, it doesn't really matter. It's just that for websites, because there's a restriction of space, that's why we have to edit it and rearrange it. Okay, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to give a big thumbs up and see you guys in the next video.